All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible, considering that we're just gonna look at one action figure, or maybe a couple to compare it with, but for the most part, one action figure. So we're gonna talk about Predator. I'm also gonna talk about Godzilla. The reason why I'm gonna talk about Godzilla is because I'm probably not gonna buy any Godzilla action figures. So I'll, this is like the closest thing to Godzilla that I'm probably gonna have. If NECA did all of the monsters that were in it, like the Ghidra, the, the gold one, which they're not doing, I don't think they have the license to it because it just Monster Arts is doing it. Monster Arts is out of my price range as far as Godzilla goes. So NECA, if you do all the monsters, I'll buy all of them. If you don't do all the monsters, I'm not gonna buy any of them. The movie Godzilla, I, I, I'm not a huge Godzilla fan. I took a friend that is a really big Godzilla fan. We both walked out of that movie and we both thought the movie was absolutely Godzilla perfection. I loved it, he loved it, so you kinda had both sides there. So if you don't love it, I don't know what your problem is. Maybe you're just a hater. And some, some of you guys, it seems like you want to go to these movies and you would be happier walking out of there not liking it than liking it. I'm the kind of opposite of that. Like, take this movie Predator, for instance. I went in there. The only reason why I went to see Predator was to see Predator. I saw a Predator. I saw a giant Predator. I saw a couple Predator dogs. I was completely satisfied as a Predator fan. That's what I went there for. That's what I got. Was it a great movie, like a great plot, a great... I don't really care. I didn't go there for that. If I wanted to see that, I'd go watch Titanic, which I'm not into Titanic because I'm not into stories. I'm into monsters. And Predator is about as good as it gets. This action figure also looks about as good as it can get. Let's check it out. Right, so here he is standing next to the other predator that was in the movie you can see the original predator was eight inches like the scale on that and then you have the big giant running he's standing at 11 inches tall i also really like the scale of that he comes with two heads i like the open mouth head a little bit better i mean they're both really amazing like look at that head sculpt look at that paint it's just predator perfection NECA, one of my favorite toy companies out there. I love it when they do something new. Like it gets a little old when they just keep making the same Predators and the same aliens and repainting them. And then they get like new sculpts like this and it, man, it gets me excited about collecting action figures again. So here is the, the closed mouth one. The thing about this Predator that was really cool was that he didn't wear armor. His skin was kind of like turned into like, he's like evolving. He does come with two fisted hands. I rarely use the fisted hands. They are cool. I'm glad that we got them, but I'm definitely not going to use them. And this little silver thing here that he comes with, this thing will plug into his arm right where the cannon is. In case you don't want the arm cannon, you just plug, unplug that. It plugs right in there. And it's kind of, I mean, how many people are going to use this? You want this little plug in there or do you want the cannon in there? This is going in the accessory drawer. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the Arnie Cannon on there. It is articulated, but you know, it's like how all their stuff is. You move it around too much, it falls apart. I mean, it doesn't break, but it falls apart. So that's something that you really don't want to play with. The gauntlet on that thing is really nice. And he comes with the one single blade on this hand, which is cool because they usually come with the double blade like this guy right here. The mask is probably going to fall. So this one has a double blade, this one has a single blade. I know they've did a single blade before. I've already reviewed this action figure, so we're not going to spend too much time on that. Once again, the gauntlet is amazing. This whole sculpt, brand new, original, one-of-a-kind sculpt. They can pretty, money, pretty much only use this thing for this one toy unless they do another movie, which, who knows, maybe another 5-10 years they will. I guess they could have put a little bit more paint on those, on those little spikes. I mean, in the movie, you can't really tell what color were, they were, but I would assume that his toenails and his claws are not the same exact color as his skin. As far as his hands go, they did paint those. I kind of feel like they should have did that on, on all of the, the claws and spikes and whatever. The head sculpt on this, God, that is just, um, I love that. That open mouth. It's like the throat always looks like a vagina if you look in there really close. It's just like the face hugger. Uh, I think you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Definitely has that shape to it. Like, I think they do that as an inside joke because they seem to use that shape a lot on Alien and Predator. The head sculpt, once again, purely amazing. He's got all those little, like, 
spikes sculpted on it, like, like, no, I'm not talking about the ones on top. I'm talking about all the little ones all over. God, I couldn't imagine how hard something like that is to sculpt. The hair on this one, it's like braided and it's like really soft, pliable, really digging that. It's like some of the best predator hair they've ever did. God, I love that with that copper. Loving that. It's got his little skirt thing on here. The articulation, I guess we'll go over it really quick. I haven't played with it yet, so we're going to be learning together. All right, it looks like the head is on a ball. You don't get too much movement there. The shoulders, they're also on a ball. It's got like this rubber pad on the shoulder to where you can kind of pick it up and try to get a little bit more movement out of it. Mine is really stiff. I know you guys are going to go throw it in the microwave, throw it in boiling water. You'll probably get a little bit more movement out of it. And you're absolutely right, I could... But I'm not going to pose this thing too much, to be honest. I'm going to do a couple poses for the pictures at the end of the video. Then he's going up on the shelf, and he'll never, ever, ever get posed again. And this is why I say, like, don't play with this stuff. You play with this stuff, it does pop out really easy. I guess I will go ahead and put this little plug at one end here. Where you can see it. <clears throat> All right, so that's what it looks like when that's in there. Like I said, what do you want? Do you want that, or do you want the arm cannon? Arm cannon, yeah. And then, so the, the shoulder's on a ball. It's definitely really stiff. It looks like the elbows have a double elbow. No pin on the elbow. Really clean. I love it when they do that. A bicep swivel. Doesn't look like we have that. Um, <coughs> it looks like it does. All right, it does swivel here at the top of the gauntlet. The hands, I'm sure they're on that same ball thing that everybody else does. Let me see if I can get this one to move a little bit better. Yeah, that one works pretty good. The ab crunch on this, I love that. That's my favorite ab crunch. I love when they do that. Does it move a lot? No, it moves enough for me. Then at the bottom, it also turns at the waist. And it also has that ab crunch there. Completely hidden by his little skirt. Definitely digging that. The thighs, you can tell just by looking at it that they're on a, bo on a ball. They do have a click to them. God, that's really cool. And those things like really lock in so that thing won't be falling over. And then on the knee, God, it doesn't even feel like it's going to move. I'm trying. It feel, feel, okay, so there's like a ratchet there on the lower part. And then on the upper knee, I don't know if it's got a joint. Yeah, it does have a joint. So it does have a double knee. I can't get it to move. It feels like it's going to break. Um, God, it feels like, man, that thing is stiff. And the blade just fall, fell out because I'm... this. So the knees are really, really stiff. They do have a pin here that kind of sucks, but I'm not going to beat him up too much on that because they did no pin on the upper. He does have a swivel. Plenty of movement there. As far as the ankles go, it looks like it... Okay, it has a hinge here. Once again, really stiff. Really stiff. Man, these spikes are actually like really sharp. He's made out of like hard plastic, which is cool rather have that than the soft so and then it also like swivels here and then the ankle does it pivot oh my god so it pivots and it has a hinge there so I'm completely satisfied with the articulation like I think they went the extra mile I didn't really care if they did that much articulation that's pretty much this big predator for 45 bucks it's definitely it's under 50 bucks after tax out the door definitely pick this up if you're a predator fan this is an absolute must in your collection if you're a neck fan then I mean god I mean get it just to have a really cool neck action figure I'm going to do a couple poses, and you know what? I'll show you the Predator collection. I'm going to show it okay, to you. Okay, so while. here is the Predator collection. Try to show you kind of like the back of the shelf. Up here is like where Arnold is. Got a few of those. This is kind of like where all the clear ones are. The red one, that was one I probably should have passed on. I just thought the red one looked kind of cool at the time. There's the dog. I wish I would have bought another dog. I was waiting for those to go on clearance. They never did. Now I only have one dog. I don't have the throne. I definitely I need to get a come up on that throne, but it's like eighty dollars, and that's kind of steep for a chair. But it is really cool. Here's like the crossbreed between the alien predator. The alien is down there. Not to spend any much time on that because it's not really an alien video. We'll save that for the next one. There's the big one, the new edition. You kind of see how much he stands above all the rest, which is really cool. Definitely digging that bigger scale on that. Thought that was an awesome twist in the movie. Here's some more of the Predators. There's a few of the skulls that came with just random ones. I'm not real sure. That's my Predator collection. Thanks for watching.